this one is called would we rather watch jujutsu kaisen or bochi the rock uh, it's from trash taste by the way i am leaning more into jujutsu kaisen because i am a monkey that gets you know entertained by flashy shit just hype going on bochi is a great watch but let's see what trash taste has to say next one Oh my god. Did you do this on purpose? Watch you the rock versus this Jujutsu feels Kaisen. On purpose. Okay, this, this is like okay. peak brain rot versus peak brain rot. <laughs> this is, I right. want I want to Is this easy, Joe? Yeah. 100% Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I feel like it's such a different genre to compare Bochi the Rock and Jujutsu Kaisen to an average anime watcher, right? Cuz like people are either going to really love slice of life, cute girls doing cute things. And those people might not enjoy Jujutsu Kaisen. And the same people with Jujutsu Kaisen, like Shonen Heads, Shonen Battle Shonen Heads, like, do you think they're gonna enjoy quiet, calm, you know, slice of life, cute girls and cute things? I feel like those audiences are gonna stick to the Shonen Battle. So, like, Anime Man probably is, you know, a Shonen Head like me, right? A hundred percent. It's not even close. I don't even feel like this is a hot taste, but like a hot take, by the way. I think a lot of people would side with Jujutsu Kaisen, but if you were to then, like, identify those audiences it's like you're asking a group of people who enjoys battle shonen to say you want to watch just like cute girls doing nothing it's not nothing there's there's you know stuff going on but it's not that of a hot take i don't think really yeah because here's the thing okay here i really need to get fucking clear this out of my name okay so i don't you hate jujutsu kaisen okay. i never said i hated jujutsu kaisen <laughs> For some reason, the reaction from Giguk and Sea Dog about JJK was only like that because people are under the assumption Anime Man hates JJK, but he's clearing things up right now. I just think this, it's this, okay. Meanwhile, not... Botch of the Rock, I fucking hate. <laughs> what, what the what the fuck did Bochi do to you? So Jujutsu Kaisen wins wait, by wait, 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 Joey, 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 I hated Jujutsu Kaisen, Joey. when did I ever say that? <laughs> Joey, when did you say you hate Bochi as well? I've said, I said it in front of a live audience last year. No, Why? no, you said that you don't think anyone in like, uh, what was it, anyone has as much social anxiety as Bochi did. Yeah, whatever. I still stand by that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, okay. I thought you like at least halfway decently enjoyed Bochi. It's just a K-On clone, bro. That's all. I've never seen K-On, so I can't really say that, but based on their reactions, it seems like a very disrespectful thing to say. Isn't K-On like a good anime too? I'm not sure. Why is he hating on Bochi so much? I thought, like, was there anything in Bochi that I didn't like or something that pissed me off? Like, no, I knew what I was signing up for. It's just this introverted, shy girl that has no social skills trying to come forth and do something that she loves and it was a pretty funny tale at doing that too but like what what why is the anime man so fucking heated about bochi the rock just because it's like similar to kaon all it is bro i'm gonna say that bro up front. it's like all these it's not just bochi the rock there was like three other fucking shows like <laughs> gold band cry was another one. Oh yeah made it to top of Giga Spring 2024 anime tier list though. It was like number one pick. So Anime Man just hates these slice of life rom-coms. Not rom-coms, slice of life like cute girls doing cute things then, huh? No yeah, you're right. Watch the Rock is a K-On clone, but it made it better. I'm trying to get some no. evidence to, to, to the give The songs were mid. The songs, <laughs> the songs, the one thing that The Bocci, songs were not mid, this Joey. one thing Bocci could have had. Wait, wait, Joey, Joey. The one thing Bocci could have had at yeah. least is to have like a good soundtrack. It was mid What? The what? I, it's been a while since I've heard Bocci the Rock soundtracks. But I remember, I remember there was an episode when Bochi finally went to the stage, and I'm not sure exactly which episode it was, but it was the moment that she saved the band by stepping up to the plate, and there was this whole monologue and build up, and then suddenly she started playing the guitar, and it was like so fucking hype. And then <laughs> none of that shit mattered to Anime Man. Anime Man's like, nah, nah. Bochi the Rock, Chaos Clone, and mid songs. This shit's Bochi the Pebble, according to him. Oh. Fuck, it does have a good it's soundtrack. Mid. It's look, mid. that one fucking performance scene where Bochi pops off, yo, that was better than any he's of exa the you he's what That's exactly what I'm talking about. What Giggle just mentioned is the scene that I'm talking about. It was like the cameraman was like showing Bochi immediately, and she was like stepping in with the guitar, and then she started to pop off, and I was like, this song is actually good. Make me to believe man. that shit would actually happen, though. No. <laughs> 
Yes, sir. What do you mean? No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. That, that's the whole point of the story, there Joey. There is a chick who was like, <laughs> yeah. like 10 seconds before backstage, like pissing and crying in her pants, yeah. right? And just yeah. being like, I, I don't know. I don't know yeah, if I'll true. be able before. Meanwhile, the moment she gets on top of the stage, she's just like, actually, I am fucking Carlos Santana now. I no, 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 no. I'd have to go back and watch the episode, but I remember her being shy as fuck. In fact, in the beginning, she was only allowed to stay in a box, right? Because she was that introverted, but then she could feel comfortable being hidden. And at a certain point in that episode six moment, she was still very nervous. And she honestly was like not clutching at all. But the moments that the audience was getting bored or something, and the moments that our band members were, the team morale was going down, Bochi then stepped up for her teammates. And I don't think that's such a unrealistic thing to expect from Bochi after six fucking episodes. It's like, yes, she's a very introverted, shy girl that finds it hard to really get into the spotlight and thrive. But when she is in the zone, when she locks in, we've seen her do well, but it's like, that's too unbelievable for Joe? I can fucking rip shit on a guitar. Like, no, I'm sorry, I don't believe that. I fucking believe that. But like, she could always rip shit on the guitar. She could always do that. It was just a mental lock, which honestly got overwritten because she cared about her friends more than what she personally felt on stage of being nervous. Uh, bro, the, the amount of artists are probably like shitting themselves before going on stage. And then they go on stage and it's just like a, fu a fucking demon awakens and they True. like tear it up. <laughs> And, yeah, yeah, yeah. The demon awakens. They tear it up, and then they go back on. St they go back on stage, and then they shit themselves again. That is that. You know that is surely, surely, Joey. Come on, you've been on stage before, man. Yes, I have. You, you know what it's like. You either you you have two types of people. Either you 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 know freeze up in the headlights, or you mm -hmm. just perform, and then you shit yourself. Yeah, afterwards. but I also know how to talk to people. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, so, good thing about being on stage is that you don't. You you, you play fucking guitar, but she's not a singer. What do you mean? You don't have to talk to anyone. Yeah. It's it's you you just have to perform the skill that you have. Okay. okay. Right. 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 Oh yeah, look, let, yeah. to be fair, all right? I have yeah. a feeling you don't even hate Bocci. You just hate Bocci fans, Joey. Well, <laughs> absolutely fucking literally, yes. <laughs> this is the guy that got canceled by canceled by a Data Live community, right? I don't know much about the anime, man. Ever since I started covering a second channel content regarding other type of news, like, you know, anime industry is failing, or why are people not happy in Japan? I think those videos are fantastic. It's great, great insight, and it's, it's nice commentary reactions to do. But that's on the Joey Bisinger side, right? I don't know the anime man's brand. That's his main, right? I know his alt, which is his, like, more, you know, IRL, not the IRL side, but who tr he truly is, right? But I don't know the anime man per se. And I hear there was a lot of fucking drama with anime man. People are shitting on him saying like, yo, he's not even the anime man. Bro is the fucking manga man. Bro is the fucking light novel man. Bro doesn't even watch anime anymore. Bro has shit taste on anime. And he gets like, apparently there's been a lot of drama of him getting canceled. I don't know exactly what happened in the past couple of years with the anime brands, that anime man brand that made him turn out like this. But I don't know. When I hear these opinions and... Yes, it's a podcast, right? It's a fucking podcast where if everyone is just glazing this show and agreeing with each other's points, it's, it's kind of boring. So in order to create, it's like WWE. It's, it's, it's a fucking performance, right? Sometimes there's going to be the guy that says some unhinged shit for the sake of content for some friction to happen because it's a lot more enjoyable to watch that shit, right? But Enemy Man right now just saying this shit, I could definitely understand why some people in the, maybe not some people, many people, I don't know how many people, why there's been a lot of hate for him. <laughs> no, I, I not only dislike Bocce fans, but I also dislike Bocce as a character. Because to be fair, <laughs> Bocce the Rock did have some actual, like, go-to characters. Yeah. yeah. Like, the fucking, uh... Like who? Like who? Uh... Low-key? I think the blue hair grit... I think the blue hair girl... She a fucking bitch. Hot take. Rio is not based at all. Nope. She is an egotistical narcissist that does not care about her friends that constantly borrows money and doesn't pay back, that constantly treats them like trash, that is super ego tripping too. Sometimes she goes in the store and starts fucking playing the band wants to flex, right? Yeah, when you package it in a slice of life, cute girl doing cute things, she seems cute and she's like, oh, real base. But if you actually like step back and think about what kind of person she is, she didn't even come over to Bochi's house, remember that episode? She was the only person that didn't show up to Bochi's house to fucking make the team t-shirts. Instead, she went off to her different fucking restaurants. 
I feel like Ryo is a terrible, terrible fucking friend and a character. Now, the drunk alcoholic senpai is a terrible mentor as well. She is just normalizing just casual alcoholism to fucking these, to these kids. She is a terrible, terrible influence. But again, when you package it in a cute girl doing cute girl things and you don't have to approach it in such a realistic way, it's kind of funny. But I, I honestly, Ryo is a terrible character, dude. A uh, basis chick? Yeah. The drunk one? Love yeah. her. She's nah, easy. nah, nah. Rio, the basis, she seems like she's based until you actually think about the things that she did. Nah. Rio is a terrible fucking character. The best character in that show. I think everyone can agree. Best no, character in that show. No. Right? Do I remember her name? No. But. I no, but no, no. I got beef with the anime man now. No, uh uh. I got beef with the anime man now. I'm a giga cater and the anime man. <laughs> Giga Spring 2024 tier list, I'm never letting that fucking go, bro. I, I can't wait till the summer 2024 tier list. The re I can understand the appeal of Rio to some people, but if you really sit down and think about the things that she did, like, I don't know. The more I think about it, the more I realize what a fucked up character she is. I remember that she was a great character, and I'm like, oh, finally, a good character. But Thank you, Delective, for the tier one on sub. The fact that, look, like, I watched you guys in season one, right? Mm -hmm. I just, I'm not fucking crazy about it as other people are. Yeah. But there were still a lot of parts <laughs> that I thought were pretty good about Jujutsu Kaisen. So as a whole like. viewing ex <laughs> Something smells like cotton candy. I think the neighbors are fucking vaping outside in the balcony one second. I'm gonna fucking pop off on these monkeys. Nah, someone's just like cooking, I think. It's just a very sweet smell. I was like, these motherfuckers. Like, completely off tangent. I live in like a condo, balconies. Motherfuckers start smoking out the fucking balcony during the summer when I have the fucking AC on and the windows open. Holy shit. This one time, I literally grabbed a fucking bottle of water and just threw it on them. It says, STOP! And then I fucking videotaped them, sent that to the fucking condo management people. Those motherfuckers got fined. Fuck you. Try to fuck with me? Alright, what are we doing right now? Experience, huh? Like, what? The fucking choreography is fantastic. Okay. Yeah. yeah, the fight scenes are goaded. All right. A lot of the characters are great, right? But the thing is, is that as a viewing experience, yes. I'm not crazy about Jujutsu Kaisen, but I would much prefer to rewatch Jujutsu Kaisen again over Bochi the Rock. Mmm. Mmm. Me, to be honest, like again, I I'm a I'm a pretty big Shonen fan. You might not believe it because of the lack of battle shown into my channel, and that's because of you fucking monkeys making me react to fucking rom-com and shitty isekais all the time, trying to get into the shonen algorithm. I come from a shonen background. I grew up watching, like, Naruto Bleach One Piece, so, like, Jujutsu Kaisen's right up my alley. But in Slice of Life, cute girls doing cute things, I never gave that shit a chance when I was growing up. In my head, I was like, an anime only matters if it's, like, more than, like, 300 episodes, and it's all fight scenes. Because if you give me a 12-episode anime, and it's all about just girls talking about their feelings, what am I getting out of that? Where is the purpose? Who am I defeating? What, what is the goal? I'm trying to be Pirate King. I'm trying to be Hokage. Why would I waste my time watching these slice of life animes? Now that I'm doing anime reactions on YouTube, right? I'm starting to get to know more of these different seasonal animes, understand different genres. I'm enjoying them more, but me coming from that shonen background, that was like my mindset. So honestly, me too. I, I would watch. If, I, if you force me to say JJK or Butch the Rock, I'm picking JJK every day. Doesn't mean Bochi the Rock is bad though. Bochi the Rock was a fantastic watch. So I'm voting Jutsu Kaisen. If it was just Jutsu Kaisen season one, mm. I think I would pick Bochi. I, 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 I would actually pick Bochi. I think. Based. I, I think in. Hey, no I think. Hey, no just said I, I, yeah. I, I respect that opinion. You know what? I respect this opinion, even though I shit on him for the spring 2024 tier list. I, I, I say psych right in now. In terms of like, in terms of like pure enjoyment, in terms, in terms of like enjoyment, yeah. I was like, you just, you know, bypassing season two of Jujutsu Kaisen, which I think is mm. uh, peak, like peak, a new level peak. of just pure fight choreography. Yeah, yeah, a new level of pure fight choreography. And why did that happen? Thanks to slavery, baby. Human civilization has never experienced accelerated growth under non-slaves. Anytime we have slaves, things have been very productive. Now, is it ethical or not? Of course fucking not. Is it moral? That's a totally separate conversation. But because MAPPA made these motherfuckers work for like eight days a week, 
25 hours a day. Didn't even let to get the animators to see their, you know, family. They were able to pump out JJK choreography, which is just on another level. So, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's a very conflicting thing where it's just like, damn, the consumers only want the end product. But it's like, what took to get there? Animation and all that kind of jazz. In terms of pure enjoyment, I watched Jutsu Kaisen season yeah. one, and I'm like, mm. I mean, it's enjoyable, but it's not any different. In the beginning of JJK, low key, I couldn't really get into it. Even like, I, I just Skuna versus Joe Goat. Sorry, not <laughs> Skuna versus Joe Goat was amazing in season two. Okay, but season one, I'm talking about Skuna versus Gojo right in the beginning. Yes. That's like episode one or two, right? I thought it was like crazy fights, but like because I didn't understand who they were. Like, this is like the king of the curses. And this is the modern sorcerer, Gojo Satoru. One who has inherited both Mugen and the fucking eyes, right? That shit's something that I really uh, uh, like understand and appreciate in season two. But in season one, because I was like, who, who is this dude? Like, okay, whatever. I couldn't really appreciate it. And I was like, okay, I don't know. It's kind of mid so far. The fights are hype, but it's just like, whatever. And then I think something changed the moment we got to that guy. I, I, as soon as Mahito showed up, that whole arc with, um, you know, Itadori is like, quote unquote, friend. That whole fucked up arc with Nanami showing up. That was when, like, things fucking changed. And then from then on, it was just like, yep. And then went to the Kyoto arc, and it was like, fucking tremendous. It was so good. Yeah, Junpei. Rest in peace, Junpei. From anything that we haven't seen in, you know, shown in action shows. Yeah, for before. sure. Um, it is definitely got the rule of cool. It's mm. got fucking Gojo. Yeah. But Look, they, they, they looked at Jujutsu Kaisen and they went, we're not going to try and fix something that's not broken. Yeah. Like, this, this formula has worked for decades yes. now in the show. The battle shown and cliche template, it's a fucking boilerplate, bro. Because JJK obviously has a lot of inspiration from Bleach as well, right? Just, just follow the scripts. It's a, it's a formula for a reason. Shonen world, we're just gonna up the ante a little bit with yeah. really fucking good animation and choreography, which, you know, to be granted, a lot of shonen shows in the past have struggled with that. Yeah. You know, there are a lot of shonen shows where it's like, the story is great, the characters are great, but sometimes some of the action scenes just don't hit to that level that mm. I think the fight or that particular scene deserves uh, in, in the context of the story, right? Whereas Jujutsu yeah. Kaisen, I have not seen Connor speak once yet. This entire fucking clip. Then again, it's been five minutes, right? I've been talking the entire time, so it's fucking 17 minutes for us right now. Sea Dog has not said a single thing. Bro is thinking about what he wants for eat to dinner tonight. He is just completely out of it. Does he even fucking watch anime? I don't know what he does. Definitely, they were, you know, expecting to be like, all right, there's some fucking intense scenes happening uh you know some great fight scenes with great characters great power-ups and stuff like that and we are going to make sure that that impact is delivered upon through the animation and that was one part of Jujutsu Kaisen I very highly respect it yeah again, I agree though, in saying that I'm just not as crazy about it as other people are yeah. I, again I thought it was fine okay uh, I don't think it's like the fucking modern masterpiece people are making it out to be though yeah but again as a viewing experience modern masterpiece what about modern shonen? If you think about new age shonen series, what really pops out at the moment, right? The old big three was Naruto, One Piece, Bleach. And yes, Bleach Thousand Year Blood War is happening right now, but you know, it's, it's like, that's an exception. Naruto and Bleach are, Naruto and One Piece are, One Piece is still going for sure. But if you think about like modern shonen, I'm thinking top, topics like fucking My Hero Academia, right? The good seasons anyways, so for so I hear. Jujutsu Kaisen, I'm thinking Demon Slayer, right? I'm thinking like Battle Shonen where instead of stretching fucking like weekly episodes and having hundreds of episode count, I'm thinking like seasonal anime style where it's concise and has like no filler. Kaiju 8, another good one, exactly. I would much rather go with Jesus Kaisen. Okay. I Connor, have, you've been silent for the yeah. past. Yeah, Connor, say silent. I've been thinking, I've been thinking. I've been thinking. All right. Um, I also was trying to remember that one clip I saw on Twitter where it was like, they were like, oh my God, the Bocce the Rock stage actress is just like her. Have you seen that one? Yes, yeah. I have seen that. And I was like, oh, it just looks like a, I didn't see the full clip, but it looked yeah. like it was a person just being polite. Yeah. Yeah. I, was like, I mean, that's just typical Japanese. Yeah. yeah. I was like, yeah. I was like, you they're talking about a clip that I have no context of. You guys have just never seen a, You've never seen a real <laughs> Japanese woman before. Yeah, you've been watching too many clips of people in America interacting because that shit is intense yeah. and wild. It's too much. Yeah. I think people are just too comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a yeah, lot of the point. time.
I, I, I mean, I, I haven't watched Bocce, so I feel like it's unfair <laughs> of me to make uh, claims. I just know that I hate everything that Bocce stands for. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, 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 so I'm more surprised how... by I'm more surprised by your. He fucking hates Bochi. Why? Why Sea Dog hate Bochi? I don't know anything about Sea Dog other than he's friends with Iron Mouse and he makes like great RL streams. And he's got a very just seductive low baritone voice. What the fuck is that voice, bro? Jesus Christ. Yeah. How bro is actually made to be a male VTuber voice. Like this voice with the ASMR content. Oh my god. Oops. Wait. Wait. Oh no. Go back. Oh shit, where was I? Where was I? No, Sea Dog was talking. Uh, in, in the yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Intense. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, claims. I just know that I hate everything that Bocce stands for. I'm, 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 why? Yeah, I'm, 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 I, so I'm not surprised how, by I'm not surprised by your answer. <laughs> how do uh, I, I, I you know, there's nothing I can chime in here that is gonna make Bochi fans happy. Look, I just I They make him more mad. Just keep saying more incendiary shit and keep fucking clickbaiting, bro. I just want this not just to be topsided by, ooh, action, ooh. It's not, it's not. It's, I, no, it's I, not. I, uh, the reason why is because Bochi can't uh, do domain expansion. <laughs> true, true, true. Have you ever seen any other girl use a domain expansion? They right now, Connor is cooking. He was cooking, bro. Bro was locked in the entire time. <laughs> the Jujutsu Kai. If Bochi would do domain expansion, she'd be like too nervous and we'd find five fucking episodes to figure it out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it'd be like, oh, I gotta, I'm gonna piss myself. I have to go on stage. All right, cool. Who, who is Bochi for? Huh? Who is Bochi for? Who, who is Bochi for? Millions of people. Millions and millions of young, impressionable kids and adults that are introverts and have a hard time trying to step up to the spotlight and instead cower away and shy away because life is hard and society is hard. And, you know, I, I, think, it, I think it definitely hits that type of people. And it's really good representation for the shy and nervous people to kind of be like, you know what? Even though I am like this, look at Bochi. I can be inspired by that and I can move forward. I, I think that Bochi represents many, many people. Who is Bochi for? What, are the, what, are, what, is the, what does a Bochi fan look like? Introverts, <laughs> yeah, like heavy, like heavy mega introverts. introverts. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I really, really liked Bocce, um, mostly because, uh, you know, Bocce's character is obviously very mm. exaggerated. You know, in terms of like, not gonna lie, at a certain point, I got a little sick of Bocce's fucking running gag of her being so scared and, sh and just being, oh my god, I don't want to do anything and hiding away. That that the repeating joke kind of got. Tired over time, not gonna lie. Her social anxiety. Yeah. Mm. But uh, sometimes she would do things and I'm like, or like react in certain ways. And I'm like, fuck, this hits like a little bit too close to home. Mm -hmm. It's it's like some, some of like, some of like the gremlin way that uh, like, <laughs> there's, there's, this, there's this scene uh, and it ends on like episode four or something. And okay. then uh, she, I, you know, it's an episode where she had finally like made friends for mm. the first time. She's like, yes, I'm, I'm making progress. And she's just like staring up in the ceiling. And then she just like has, she just does this like fucking gremlin laugh to herself. And then the, <laughs> and then the episode just cuts off. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I get that so bad. I, I, I get, what? I understand. I understand. Yeah, Connor can't understand. I honestly can't understand really. But like, I guess Connor's like a very huge extrovert, huh? And Gigo's like pretty introverted. I understand that no, feeling, no. man. See, here's the thing, right? Is that I am fully aware of the fact that people like Connor and I are yeah. not the audience for Bochi. Yeah. And yeah, it doesn't seem like it. To be honest, like, I'm not the audience for Bochi either. But, like, I can understand. I understand that those people exist and they can probably relate to it way better than I can. And even I thought it was, like, pretty good. I think that's why I didn't enjoy it as much because I looked at that scene and I was like, all right, for fucking. Weirdo. Bro, I mean, you, you, guys were, you guys were born so Weirdo? I had, to, I had to like go through my university well, I mean, training I arc. Definitely, but... I definitely like learned. No, I learned. So sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, I didn't. Are people born introverts or extroverts? I'm not sure. For me, it wasn't a matter of, cause like I'm very extroverted, but I think that I am actually an introvert. And the reason I became like this is because when I immigrated to Canada as an only Asian kid in like a redneck city, it was either sink or swim. I'm either going to get bullied for the racism or I'm going to succeed and make everyone respect me. So I put myself in the fucking spotlight and forced myself to survive. 
And by doing so, I started to understand more social skills and trying to understand different people's incentives and how I can get along with different people. And eventually, I became a person that I could just yap and just get along in any kind of social circle. Was I born like that? No. It was a byproduct of me being thrown into a situation where it's just like, you're going to sink or you're going to swim now. What are you going to do? I didn't, I didn't, I was, I didn't come out of my mom being like, I am the most sociable person. No, 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 no. no, no. It, was, it was quite antisocial growing up. So yeah. I, I don't really. I think this is called like nurture versus nature. Nurture is the environment that you grew up in. And nature, I think is like the innate generics or talents that you're given, right? I think that the environment that you grew up for sure, for sure has a bigger impact. There definitely are like, like. People, I, I don't know. There's going to be like different people have different types of behavior. Some people are more willing to take risks and some people are more willing to shy away from it, right? That is just like genetic. But then after that, I think the environment that you grew up in can really shape and mold who you are. Want to relive that, I think is what I said previously. That's, mm. that's the thing. It's like you don't want it's it's because it's not for me. It's not for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not. I can't relate to that anymore. I don't enjoy relating. Mm. To yeah, me. I mean, I don't really relate to it much anymore. But like, you see some scenes in it, and I, you know, I, I told Sydney kind of like if it was like some of the scenes reminded me. It's gonna sound like this weird tangent or analogy. Mm. It kind of reminded me of like watching some episodes of The Inbetweeners. You know, where don't know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, you you, mm. you watch some of it. And it was just like, I how can they relate with Jujutsu Kaisen? What? You can't use a domain expansion, pussy? <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at black underscore site 07. Doesn't even have a domain expansion, loser. I cringed because I'm like, oh, this reminds me of a period of my yeah, life that. Right. Uh, you cringe because you relate. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 like, jokes aside, extroverts can, they don't relate to the characters per se, but they see people fucking fight. And fighting action heavy shit, right? Which audience is gonna enjoy that more? People that are more extroverted and outgoing or people that are more shy? Doesn't mean that shy people can't enjoy battle scenes, but I'm gonna assume that, you know, people like Joey and Connor are gonna enjoy more battle centric hype shit if they're extroverts compared to a show that's specifically supposed to represent introverts and how they can come out of the shell. Yeah. I cringe because I relate, but yeah. like it was like I laughed because like I can look back on that moment in my mm. life. And I'm like, oh my god, oh, it hurts, but it's still like entertaining, and that's that's right, what I found right. entertaining oh, about Bochy's enough, character. Mm. That's yeah, again, I don't, yeah. I don't hate the show. I've never seen a bloody episode. So I can't hate the yeah. fucking thing, mm. but uh, I yeah, yeah. The me, the the, the mm. one the one thing that uh, I you know I probably a lot of people are annoyed with or not 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 really annoyed with but looked down on is that you know some. Random question. They all live in Japan, right? Because like they're clearly in the same studio right now recording a podcast. Is their office and HQ in like Japan? Every, all three of them? That's pretty cool. Bocchi fans, they, they really like worship Bocchi. Like, yeah. yeah, that stuff's As, a little intense. It's a bit yeah. weird. You do think like, God damn. Okay, that's a bit much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it's like it's kind of well. I I would argue it's like similar to what I saw with a lot of like the K on fan base as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I I'm not like Joey. I did not like K on at all. Okay, I, I don't know why. What? Okay, if you don't like, I, here's the Giga hates K on. Oh, we got a clip. Okay, Joey hates Bochi fans and Giga hates K on. It's the fucking title. I don't know. Biggest thing I don't understand. Why do why can't why don't you like Bochi? How did this? When you do like K on? Because Kon knew yeah. exactly what it wanted to do, which was it was the so most. So does Bocchi. No, it what, was what, the what? most. Kon is the most. Turn your brain off. Just enjoy cute. Like Nokotan. Okay, I think Bocchi knew exactly what they were trying to hit, and they delivered on that in season one. Girls doing cute things, making music together, happy fun time. Like, oh, I'm sorry, Bocchi has plot progression and character development. Plot progression? Joe. Yes, it does, Joe. Making <laughs> friends after four episodes is not plot progression. Yes, it is, no, it Joey. Is not. Yes, it is. Plot progression. Making friends after four episodes is not plot progression. At this point, this is semantics because Joey has a different value system that determines whether or not, you know, something is plot. And he thinks that slice of life anime where an introvert is seeking out how to be more of the person that she imagines, the idealized version where she can be like a rock star and, and you know, have a fan base and start to, you know, develop these skills and become, you know, sociable enough to have friends. I feel like that is plot progression in a show like Bochi. No, it is not. That is a piss poor excuse for plot. There is no, no plot in Bocchi. It's about the character development, man. It's about the development. Joey doesn't think character development is plot. 
is what I'm getting at. Of Bocchi getting over a social anxiety. Yeah, so There's is Kaon. Kaon oh. is the development of all the characters coming together after their differences and trying to create a band. It's exactly the same. Except... Okay. But even if it's... I... I but both can be good. Like, whenever people say this is a clone of something, I think that's a very weak argument. What you have to see is, okay, it's a clone. And then what? For example, League of Legends. Shit's a fucking clone of Dota. Shit's a fucking clone of many different MOBAs, but they executed it better and packaged it, so it's number one, right? Genshin Impact. Shit's a fucking clone of Breath of the Wild, but they packaged it better. They added their little spice to it. Of course it's going to be a clone of something. They're gonna, it's going to be a clone of something that's already established and doing well. And then, can you make it better? And I think that Bochi, even though I haven't seen Kaon, that's probably unfair me to say that, but I don't think Bochi is that bad. Except Kaon, the characters aren't insufferable like Bochi are. I don't, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know about that one, Chief. I'm sorry. I don't know about that one, Chief. Remember, All right. Also, time. the music is a million times better in K.O. than Bochy. I'm right. I'm go. I can't really judge that. Is the music in K.O. better? I, I, got, I got some... This one guy tweeted at me, mm. and he had a Bochy the Rock profile picture, and he tweeted at me some vile stuff. <laughs> and I clicked on his profile, and it was just a bunch of Bochy stuff mixed in between a bunch of, like, gun shooting Things. Oh, what? I oh. was like, this is such a weird overlap, dude. I think that's it just is. that, dude. <laughs> I don't know. The school shooters at school, you know, they're introverted for a reason, you know? You think to be so? fair, I, yeah. I've seen a lot of weird no, stuff. No, 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 I... there's, there's a lot of, sometimes... Sea Dog says, Bochi fan base are school shooters confirmed. Giguk hates uh, Kaon, and Joey hates Bochi the Rock. Title. Clip chimped. The biggest way to make you not take someone seriously is to go in their profile picture and just see, like a lot uh, for the longest time it was K on profile pictures yes. and it morphed into like botched the rock and yeah. they were like, there's like one distinctive type of the Moe fans which mm. is just like I like cute anime yeah, girls. Yeah, Moe fans scare me. Yeah, yeah. I like cute anime online. girls. Also, you go on a Twitch and I'm like, I'm gonna see the most racist shit I've oh, ever yeah. seen in my life. I'll I don't think this is a difference whether or not the profile picture is of is like a cute anime girl or not. I think it's just anime profile pictures in general. It's not slice of life anime profile picture that's crazy. It's not shonen profile pictures that's crazy. If you just look at the average anime consumer and look at what kind of person they are, I don't really have faith that they are well suited in society and come up with like rational opinions. I'm sorry. As, as a weeb I am, just think about what kind of people watch anime. A bunch of outcasts that feel like they've done dirty by society and feel like they've been bullied and uses anime as an escapism. Nothing healthy is going to come out of that, bro. Oh, and, dude. Uh, fucking 10 years ago, when yeah. you went onto Twitter and you saw someone with a K-On profile yeah. picture, you knew. Yeah. It was like, I should not interact with <laughs> yeah, this person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then on the other side, it's just like this, the harmless bocce fans, which unfortunately don't get seen as often, which is just like, oh, I just... I just uh, I just like cute girls. Yeah, it, it they're they're shame. adorable. It's the you Rick and, and Morty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. Artist fans are always the. Yeah. Most All right. Fucking. Well, but okay. I we'll bring over. Kaisen. We'll bring over Jiu Jitsu. Made in Abyss over Code Geass. We gotta look at the rest of this fucking tournament for them. Holy shit. Bochi the Rock. I I Made in Abyss. Made in Abyss is really good though. It is. Code Geass. I haven't finished it. We're on like episode ten or eleven, but this is a tough matchup. All right, bring over Jesus I like Kaisen. how this was not so much an uh, indictment of, uh, <laughs> sorry, this wasn't so much a testament to you do Guys, go give the Clips channel, you know, some highlight. Oh my God. <laughs> I should have checked this first. <laughs> oh, they are getting cooked in the like to dislike ratio from the Bochi enjoyers. This is a spicy fucking thing. Hold up, hold up. The video's not over yet. Video's not over yet. Uh, let's read the comments. Let's let us read the comments. Saying Bochi has no plot progression is wild. Bochi in episode one could never do what Bochi in episode 12 ends up doing the school festival. Agreed. It's not the deepest plot progression ever, but there is an arc that is more in-depth than Joey gives credit for. I think that Joey just doesn't think that character development is plot progression, right? That was his argument. It's like, I don't care about Bochi becoming more social after four episodes and getting friends. That is not plot progression for him. So it's just like character development, not plot progression. I'm not sure if it's semantics. Joey cannot have seen girls band cry and say it's a K-On clone. I cannot believe someone can think that after seeing even one episode. Joey holding true to the podcast name. Thank you, Emilio, for the sub. I appreciate that. 
Ain't no way he said Butch the Rock doesn't have good music. Joey is one of those people that holds old anime at the highest regard and refuses to think that new anime can be better than its predecessors. Listen, listen, I, I am not agreeing or disagreeing with these opinions. I'm just reading out loud to understand what the masses think about, you know, this podcast and Joey right now. If it were not facts, the podcast is called Trash Taste. People would rip into the boys more. Joey's boomer face continues. He cannot, he can't handle that people like new things more than his beloved childhood classics. You hate to see it. Is this really an example of... Angry old man, you know, yells at the sky saying these new generation of kids just doesn't know the golden anime era. I, I don't know. I don't know. This would go down as one of the saltiest moments for the next award. Joey hating Bochi just further implements my theory that he's allergic to FUD. So when Joey said he was halfway through Bochi and loved it on the Emirichu episode, was he lying then? Or is he lying now? The way he talks about Bochi makes me think he didn't actually finish it. Dude is either a contrarian or just lies so much to forget what he lied about. I wonder how much of what Joey said was from the heart or was it for the sake of creating... Uh, like, in a podcast, again, like if everyone just agrees with each other, it's not really fun, right? Oh, you have this opinion. I think your opinion is great. Well, you have this other opinion. I agree with you. When there's arguments, when there's some heated debates, that's when really fun shit happens. And perhaps Joey has taken upon himself to be that villain, the heel, right? In, in like wrestling as well. What is it? There's the villain, the heel, right? And then there's the good guy, the hero that's supposed to win and shit like that, right? So maybe Joey's just a villain right now. Who knows? If Bochi can be criticized because of its fans, JJK it should also be criticized because of its fans. I ain't gonna lie. I love Jujutsu Kaisen fans for their memes. JJK memes are so fucking dank because they're so much worse. At least Bochi fans can go five seconds. I agree. The spoiling is insane. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I swear to God, I've seen so much of fucking JJK that I shouldn't have on fucking Twitter. And I made it so I blocked every keyword. I blocked everything, but like the spoilers are fucking insane, bro. Uh, Connor is so lost here, bro. Uh, Bocha hits hard for introverts, but extroverts just don't un really understand and just say it's bad. The music is objectively great, though. What the fuck is Joey on? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, the, most of the other comments are probably going to be the things, but, like, the thing that I can't agree on is, like, for sure, you are asking an extrovert audience, like, like Joey and Connor, both extroverts, do you think they're going to enjoy Bocha the Rock? It's not an anime for them. Hell no. Of course it's going to be JJK. But the logic that Joey used to shit on Bochi saying... There's no plot development. It's a K-On clone, which I cannot really dispute because I haven't seen K-On. The music is shit, which I think is, it's not shit. I don't know. I'm not sure if he genuinely believes this. And music is subjective at the end of the day too, right? I'm doing a lot of defense for Joey right now just to give the benefit of the doubt. But like, I don't know. I think the music is pretty good. And I fucking hate Rio though. I genuinely hate Rio. I think Rio is the worst character in Butch the Rock. And if you don't agree with me, you need to take your head out of your ass, really take a couple steps back and assess everything that she's done. She is an evil, narcissistic girl that is not an actual friend, constantly borrows money without giving back, uses Bochi and others, and they, she didn't even come over for the fucking t-shirt episode, bro. She went off to do her different restaurant to make some lives. Rio, worst character.